What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing what to expect out of MDT Live episode number 13. Yes, I know I've been talking about it for like a couple weeks now, maybe even almost three weeks and it's absolutely just, just making me upset guys because I really am trying to get this show out as fast as possible and I know that the highlights are supposed to cut down on the time and they actually have and it doesn't seem like it. It's just because I've been so busy with other things and life in general and so I apologize for the long wait but it will be worth it once it's out and then we have you know vindication is going to come soon after and i'm going to try my best to knock out vindication 14 and 15 together um before we get to it that way i can post them like a week apart once you know they're posted and then the same thing for mdt live but um let's go ahead and dive right in guys we're going to preview mdt live episode number 13 i do expect the show to be out tomorrow or the next day so that's what i'm planning i think the filming will end today and then of course you have all the the editing and things of that nature which actually takes less and less time each time I do it because I'm getting I'm getting better and better at it every time I go but anyways let's dive into this show guys I mean what to expect out of MDT live episode number 13 first of all I did tease this matchup on my community page um, if you guys do not you know check out the community page on the my damn toys YouTube channel you definitely need to go check it out because we post polls and all kinds of stuff over there but getting into it guys you will see we have an elimination chamber qualifying matchup between Velveteen Dream and Dolph Ziggler the this matchup is stemming from you you know, the Royal Rumble, and uh, I guess Bischoff felt that, you know, these two guys had a great Royal Rumble matchup themselves, so he wanted to put them two in a matchup to see who deserves a chance at the MDT Championship in the Elimination Chamber come Hell's Gate, and stay tuned to the end of the video because I have an unveiling of the brand new Hell's Gate logo, which I made in Photoshop by myself in 10 minutes within getting Photoshop, and I think it's pretty badassery, so just stay tuned, but anyways, this matchup, guys, I think that Eric Bischoff is going to be putting people in Elimination chamber qualifying matchups who he thought you know performed the best and looked the best at the MDT Royal Rumble so I think that makes sense you know from a logical standpoint you know uh, I don't think that Ty Dillinger is going to be getting a Royal Rumble or a, an elimination chamber qualifying matchup because he did not have a good you know he didn't have a good performance at the Royal Rumble so why the hell would he deserve an opportunity at the elimination chamber at the elite championship when he he absolutely did nothing so that is why Velveteen Dream will square off with Ziggler I cannot wait for this one. I think these men are going to tear the house down, so I'm very excited for this matchup. This is definitely going to be one of the matchups, and there are three matchups on MDT Live episode number 13, so you guys can look forward to that. We also have another Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup, guys, between Neville and Chris Jericho, both of which had pretty solid outings in the Royal Rumble, so Bischoff thought, why not take these two guys and put them in here together? So Neville will square off with Jericho, and Velveteen Dream will square off with Dolph Ziggler, two matchups that I'm most for, most definitely looking forward to on commentary between the two guys and so uh, you know we saw Neville in the Money in the Bank matchup we saw Dolph Ziggler in the Money in the Bank matchup Chris Jericho I think uh, was supposed to no he didn't debut until afterwards but uh, he he is definitely looking for a chance at that Elimination Chamber and Velveteen Dream as well as you know Velveteen Dream is making his in-ring debut one-on-one -on -one versus Ziggler his first debut was at the Rumble of course and then he is stepping in the ring one one-on-one -on -one with Ziggler here on MDT Live, and the same goes for here for uh, Chris Jericho and Neville to see who is going to get a chance at that MDT Championship come Hell's Gate, but uh, let's move on, guys. What else can we expect out of MDT Live episode number 13? First of all, you have the Extreme Champion, Kevin Owens. Who knows if this man's going to show up on the show because I'm sure he is beat the hell out of, you know, after that in, in freaking crazy insanity match we had, uh, the Fatal 4-Way Extreme Championship match between Kevin Owens, John Morrison, No Way Jose, and Bobby Lashley. Who knows if we'll see any of those men. I'm sure that a lot of them are taken out, especially John Morrison. I mean, my God, the man the man pretty much died when he when he took that bump onto that car hood. So I'm sure that he is out. Who knows what to expect, though. You know, anything can happen in that Extreme Championships division. So Kevin Owens, who knows if he'll show up on the show for MDT Live episode number 13. We also had a couple other new champions. Not uh, I know Kevin Owens wasn't a new champion, but we did have a couple couple new champions on the show. We we did have actually three in the total, but we had uh, two of which were from MDT Live. Starting off first, we do have the United States champion, Jack Swagger. He is expected, I'm sure, because, you know, he won the United States championship and, you know, he, he, he was the masked man. He's going to be, you know, coming out there on MDT Live. So what, what, what can we expect from Jack Swagger? Who knows? But I'm sure the man will be on MDT Live as far as I'm concerned. Um, 
There is one more matchup on MDT Live, but I'm not I'm not going to spoil that here. You guys will just have to tune in and check out MDT Live episode number 13. But I would love to know your comments down below who you think is going to be in that third matchup for MDT Live. It's not an Elimination Chamber qualifier, I'll tell you that. But uh, not only did Jack Swagger capture the United States Championship at MDT Royal Rumble, we also had Roman Reigns, the brand new MDT champion. He captured what I consider the biggest prize in MDT. And uh, he has the MDT Championship alongside his Uso brothers. So I'm sure we'll hear from the brand new MDT champion, Roman Reigns, and the bloodline, what they think going forward. And, you know, he has to step inside of the Elimination Chamber at Hell's Gate. I wonder what, you know, he'll have to say about that or if he's even worried about that. Yeah, that, that you know, we don't know yet. We'll have to hear from what Roman Reigns has to say with his Bloodline brothers, but he is the brand new MDT champion, and uh, we maybe we'll hear from John Cena or somebody as well. And then uh, what I expect also, guys, is probably uh, Seth Rollins, the MDT Royal Rumble winner. You know, uh, the, the Royal Rumble winner was not from Vindication, so we didn't have to hear from anybody over on the Vindication brand. Maybe Seth Rollins will come out there, and I'm sure he'll let us know what his thoughts are following the Royal Rumble. Also, he'll probably he may or may not make his decision regarding, you know, who he wants to take on at uh, My Damn Nation. You know, it's up to him, and we'll have to see if he chooses Roman Reigns or if he chooses Kenny Omega. That will be ultimately up to Seth freaking Rollins. But also, we have to uh, we have to consider, you know, maybe he'll wait on it. He may sit on it. We don't know. Maybe he's waiting to see who wins the chamber, who 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 walks out of Hell's Gate as the uh, as the Elite Champion or the MDT Champion. But uh, we'll have to see about that one. Um, but I do expect to hear from the Royal. Rumble winner himself, Seth Rollins. And the final thing that I want to get into before we get out of here, guys, is the final Hell's Gate logo, or this is probably going to be the final Hell's Gate logo. I really do enjoy this logo, but popping it up on the screen here, guys, you will see we have Hell's Gate, and I really like the font choice here. I really do like it, and uh, it's very similar to the Vindication font, if it's not the same Vindication font, but um, I have obviously removed the blue and white and yellow. I've added my own sort of deal. You can see there inside of the Hell's Gate logo, or inside the text you can see sort of like a hellish background you have like some flames you got some skulls and stuff you have the orange outline and I think if you take this logo and plug it onto a black apron I think it would really really pop off I think it would look really really good and I'm going to do my best to probably try and get some orange ring ropes for Hell's Gate I think that would really tie it together you know uh, you know we're going to go all out just like we do for all the other pay-per-views uh, custom stage you know uh, different props things of that nature the, there will of course be two Elimination Chamber matchups which I'm very excited for as well and I'm going to try my best to try and mimic the real chamber as, as much as possible like I'm I'm planning on uh, possibly adding another uh, elimination chamber wall if you guys know that Jack's elimination chamber playset if uh, if you guys see it or have seen it before you, when you stand on top of the chamber pods it actually uh, you hit your head on the ceiling so I'm going to try and mimic another wall that I can add to the already existing Jack's elimination chamber playset wall and I'm going to see if I can get um, the correct height on it and see if I can get it where guys can stand on top of those pods without hitting their head on top of the chamber or on the roof of the chamber. That's going to be something that I'm going to experiment with. That's something that I'm working on leading up to Hell's Gate. That way, you know, we're not, you know, just scrambling once we get there. So uh, if you guys wonder why it takes so long between episodes and stuff of that nature, I'm working out other kinks for pay-per-views, other shows, background information. I'm still working on My Damn Nation from, a, from afar. I know we're a ways away, but I'm still working on that show. I literally put Put effort into everything like I know it seems like well you're just working on one show no I'm actually working on the next 10 shows while working on this show that we're working on now so that's why MDT live episode 13 vindication for that's why these episodes take so long is because not only am I working on the episode that's about to release but I'm also working on the episodes ahead the tweaks ahead the scripts ahead the stage designs the tires anything I want to do about the show that is why it takes a while between each show, but um, I think that is about it. I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think about the Hell's Gate logo? What do you think about the two matchups that are announced for MDT Live? The Elimination Chamber qualifying matches up matches of Velveteen Dream taking on Dolph Ziggler and then Neville taking on Chris Jericho. Who do you think is going to enter the MDT Live Elimination Chamber? I would love to know down below. Again, there will be two chamber matches, one for Vindication, one for MDT Live. Both champions entering the chamber. Will they walk out as champion? That will be 
seen. But uh, what else do you expect out of MDT Live episode number 13? I would love to know. Again, filming will finish today and then editing however long that takes. So it could be up tomorrow, but it could also be up uh, on Thursday so we will, or Friday. So we'll have to see about that. But thank you guys so much for listening and watching and checking it out. Again, leave your predictions down below what you expect. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.